Hey guys, welcome back to Mitzi Creek Farm. I am Katie and I'm here inside my high tunnel and I just found my very first ripe Paul Robeson tomato. I've heard amazing things about this and I ended up buying this. Oh, I might need pruners. I ended up buying this um, from a plant sale, which is kind of ironic because I do my own plant sale, but there's only so many plants I can start and um, I decided to do Mortgage Lifter, which those are all over there. You can see them, they're not ripe yet. But this Paul Robeson, I really wanted to try before I, I might switch to these depending on how good this is. Um, and this one is ripe, so I'm going to pick it and I'm gonna try it. All right, there we go. So it feels soft like it should. And the top is still green. It could be a little bit of sun scald. I'm not quite sure. But this looks delicious. The top doesn't quite feel ripe, but the bottom does. These ones here are starting to blush. So in a few days, maybe a week, uh, these ones will be ripe. But I just, I just really want to try it. So I'm just going to do it. Skin is pretty thick. It's good. It's really good. This is gonna be my supper tonight. It's juicy. It has quite a bit of flesh. So far, not a ton of seeds, but man, this is really good. This is my first giant tomato or large tomato slicer tomato of the year. Everything else has been that has been ripened has been um, cherry tomatoes. So. I am so looking forward to eating this. And it is delicious. I think I'm going to do a taste test once those ripen. Do a taste test between the Mortgage Lifters and the Paul Robeson. But I highly recommend this. That is it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.